Hey, Tom here from Made by Loop, and in this video I'm going to run through 10 lesser known keyboard shortcuts for After Effects that will hopefully save you some time. Now I'm on a Mac, so I'll be using Command and Option in this video. If you're on Windows, just replace these with the Control and Alt keys instead. So let's get started. First up, it's Shift Command E. And what this shortcut does is delete all of the effects from your selected layer. So this is useful if you've duplicated a layer but don't really want to keep any of the effects applied to it. This also works with multiple layers too. So just select all the layers that you want to remove effects from, hit the shortcut, Shift Command E, and all of the effects that have been applied will be gone instantly. At number two is Option Shift Command N. It's a bit of a handful, but this shortcut creates a new comp viewer window and locks it. And this is incredibly useful if you're working with pre-comps in After Effects, and especially if you're using things like fractal noise to drive other effects. So in this example, I have a fractal noise effect inside a comp, and this is driving a trap code form effect in our main comp to create a sort of landscape type effect. With our two comp viewer windows now, I can simply edit the fractal noise effect, and instantly I can see how this changes the main composition. So this is incredibly useful. The third shortcut is shift and any direction arrow key you want. Chances are you already know that if you select a layer and hit an arrow key on your keyboard, it will nudge it a pixel in any direction. But if you hold shift and hit a direction arrow, it will actually shift your layer by 10 pixels instead. So if you need to move your layers by more than just one pixel in a direction, just hold down that shift key and hit the arrows. At number four, it's command option home. This is a really useful one because what it does is it will place the anchor point of your layer right in the center of it. No need to eyeball it, just hit command option home. At number five, it's command and forward slash. And you use this one in the project panel of After Effects. So if you're navigating the project panel using your keyboard arrows, hit command and forward slash to add the selected item in the project panel to your composition. So you don't need to click and drag any layers to your timelines, just hit command and forward slash and it will be added to your composition. What's really useful about this keyboard shortcut is that you can just repeat the shortcut over and over again to add multiple copies of an item to your composition it removes the need to manually duplicate things once they're in the timeline. At number six, it's option command forward slash. And this is similar to the last one. But this shortcut is really handy because it enables you to replace layers already in your compositions with a new item from your project panel. So let's say you have a video file in your composition like so, and you want to swap it out with a newer version that you've imported. Just select the layer in your composition you want to replace, come up to the project panel and select the new item, then hit option command forward slash and the layer will be updated for you. What's really cool about this shortcut is that you can select multiple layers all in one go. So if you have multiple copies of a pre-comp for example and you want to replace it with a different pre-comp, just select all the layers you want to replace in your composition Select the layer in the project panel that you want to replace them with, hit option command forward slash, and instantly all of our layers have been replaced. At number seven, if you've ever needed to lock a layer in the timeline window, chances are you've clicked the padlock icon. Well instead, just select your layer and hit command L. Instantly, it's locked for you. At number eight, if you've locked too many layers with the last shortcut, just hit Shift Command L and this will instantly unlock all of the layers in your composition. At number nine, it's Option Command T. This is really handy if you loop things in After Effects because it enables the time remapping on your layers without needing to right click and use the menus. What's more, you can also enable time remapping on a bunch of layers all at once too. Just select them all, hit Option Command T, and the time remapping option is enabled. Finally, we have Option Command R. 
And much like the time remapping shortcut we've just seen, this one instantly reverses a layer for you, which is great if you're working with a lot of footage that you need to reverse in After Effects. So there we have it. There's 10 lesser known keyboard shortcuts for After Effects that can save you time. Let me know which was your favorite down in the comments or any other shortcuts that you think are useful. And as ever, do hit like and subscribe and visit madebyloop.co.uk for more motion design resources.